Alright uh, yo, what's good with y'all? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made literally the summertime smash. It's a pop beat, it goes fucking crazy, and obviously as you can see I've already made it. So basically I'm just gonna be going through showing you guys what I did and like going through my prod or my thought process at the time for when I was making this beat. So let's just get straight to it. Alright, so the first thing we did for this beat was my man Tom came over, he recorded some insane fucking guitar loops for me sound crazy so here's the first one he, he played just four chords it was beautiful it's fucking phenomenal and then next he played in this little bass which he didn't play like he doesn't have a bass guitar but he played these and then I dropped it down an octave and put that EQ on it so so we could really get that bass feel. Also, I put a fruity convoler on it, which basically it's like a reverb plugin, but there's like guitar presets that basically just give you like hella bass on the instrument. So I did that. Um, and then that's basically it for the verse. Okay, so let's, whoa, my bad. Right here, this is the verse. This is the chorus. Verse again, chorus, and then outro. Okay. So then for the drums, I added this little tambourine, little percussion loop thing. Just some groovy shit, you know what I mean? And then a clap. Just simple. And then we got a crash, a nice crash. And then before the clap came in, I wanted there to be something more subtle, so I put in a, a snap. Put some kicks in there, that's what the kicks sound like. And then I put some hi-hats, which basically just go over the kick. Okay, so this is what the first drop sounds like. Some chill ass shit we got going. And then this part right here, this is uh, basically another breakdown that will give momentum leading up into the chorus, which is right here. This dude, this, this right here is the chorus. Okay, so now for the chorus, he recorded another guitar loop, which is basically the same, but it's different. The, the rhythmic pattern is different. So. So as you can see, it's different, but it uses the same chords, just an octave up and with a different rhythmic pattern. And then we got the bass for the chorus. Another thing that comes in at the chorus right here is this little guitar solo that he put in there, which is beautiful. And the original guitar solo didn't sound like that, but I had to chop it up, make it sound perfect for the beat. And then on the second half of the chorus, this little big boy snare comes in. And then it really just gives it way more momentum. Like, it's just banging. That bitch is just knocking. And then after the chorus, goes back to a breakdown the verse. Uh, kind of a build up part right here that we saw in the first half. And then another breakdown going into the chorus. And then after that, he recorded another solo. It's fun and beautiful as well. Fucking fabulous.
And then the last thing I did was add this reverse crash. Really just adds momentum leading into the next bar. Um, but that's basically it. There's another solo right here, but I'll just let you guys listen to that. Um, if you like this video, if you like this beat, make sure to like this fucking video. Um, make sure to subscribe. Um, I'm going to start doing a lot more um, tutorials and shit. I, I've been slacking for real. I've still been posting beats, but I've been slacking on the tutorials and shit. So I'm about to get back to that. But yeah, like, comment. Let me know if you fuck with this beat. Subscribe because shit's about to get crazy up in here for real. But uh, I'll let you guys listen. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Fuck you all.